My name is May and I'm the owner of Hysteria Studios. Fashion for me is like a way of telling people how I feel and like what mood I'm in and it's just a way for me to kind of get out of like my normal thinking brain. Growing up it was pretty hard for me because I just didn't think I fit in and I didn't think that I suited like a normal teenage girl's style. Growing up I was always um, a bigger girl and I struggled with finding clothes that would fit me in the right places. Um, really when I was starting up my business I just thought about what I was kind of going through when I was growing up and like loving fashion and stuff. It was hard to watch people who were, you know, stick thin and like could fit into things and look really cool and I wanted to create my business as a platform for people who are of any shape and size and colour to look, like feel confident in your clothes but like I would create my thing so that people of any size, yeah, can feel confident, look cool as well in the clothes. That's why I started um, Hysteria, yeah. Okay, so I created my first line based on like cuts that I liked and it was quite complicated. Um, my teacher was just like, this is gonna be too expensive for you like to produce so you need to think of more simple things and my material is already quite um, a complicated one so I didn't need to go over the top so I was just kind of looking through Pinterest looking at things that like basic cuts that I liked and were cheaper for me to produce everything I produce I'm like would I actually wear this and for me it's like my brand ethics are off like comfort and feeling confident so if I see someone who is struggling in like a piece that I've worn, I'm just like, I'll rethink that and be like, okay, I need to adjust this or I need to fix this, I need to make this bigger or something like that. So yeah, inspiration from art and just my own wardrobe and like what I kind of had in my wardrobe, um, drew up everything that I wanted. Then I went to my fashion business mentor. She's had like 40 years of experience in this industry. So she'll tell me what I need to do in like then we just came up with like a second round of um, designs, a lot more simple, a lot easier to make and less time consuming. In my own head, I think I have all these cool and crazy, like awesome designs, but people don't really want that. People want the simple stuff. It's just me by myself. So it's really hard to like know sometimes when I'm staring at all these different like things, that, like after a few days, I just like want to not look at it and get an external kind of opinion because I, see everyone who like obviously buys from me, people in like young grades buying my stuff and I'm just like, oh, it's really cute. I know to see and like people who are at my school, like young, in the young grades, especially like will be messaging me and be like, oh, you're like, this is like what I want to do and stuff. And I'm just like, that is just, I don't know, it's really cute to me and really inspiring to be honest. Like it makes me want to keep going and like do what I do. My parents are really cool with me doing whatever I wanted to do, whatever made, made me happy. So I've always been in that mindset and but when I first started, I got a lot of questions and yeah, people doubting me, people being like, what is this? Like, really like hammering into me, um, what are you going to do? Like, how is how long is this really going to last? Like, is this just a hobby for now? Like, you know, what is this? And I still don't know who I am, but like last year, 2019, I was just working um, a lot and doing uni and I was really unhappy at uni. And I one day was kind of humiliated by a teacher in front of the class um, because I just didn't understand something that was going on and I came home and I was like why am I at uni what am I doing here if I'm unhappy and I'm not like going anywhere with my life I still don't know what I want to do so I was like okay that's it I'm just gonna start start this see where it goes if it fails it fails who cares and when I started it was just like I was just hit with judgment all the time and people questioning 
what I was doing. So I was like, at the end of the day, if I'm gonna start my own brand and like people are gonna judge me, like I don't care because I'm happier. And me designing clothes and me making clothes for me and my friends and everyone who wants to buy them makes me happy. So if it's gonna cost me my happiness because I'm so much happier now that I know what I'm kind of, I'm heading towards a good direction. Whereas last year, I was just heading towards nowhere. So the judgment, I'm just like, I don't even care anymore because you don't know like how far I'm gonna go like with my life, I guess, yeah. And if I'm happy, then that's that, like, that's it. <laughs>